Nicole T. Lee. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? It was a little bit of an out of body experience, just I think being in the city council chambers, having my hand on a Bible, like for real, not just pretending. Yes, for real, and it has been a whirlwind of a few weeks for Chicago's newest older woman. She slowed down just a bit on this day, meeting us at the Joby Art Center, a studio space built by world-renowned artist brothers after they immigrated from China to Bridgeport. Let's talk about the significance and what it means to you to be sitting in this space in the heart of Bridgeport right now and talking about you becoming the first Asian American woman to be an alderman in the city of Chicago. I don't know if your camera can say I just got like goose pimples with you saying that. I know how significant it is as someone who grew up in the community. I never imagined it for myself, let alone sort of thinking about having someone that looked like me sit in the seat of older person. Lee is the oldest of three siblings with deep roots in Chicago. Her father, a deputy Chief of Staff for Mayor Richard M. Daly. I grew up in Chinatown, basically in the same building that I'm living in now. My mom was a business owner. Um, she and my, my Aunt Margaret ran a business. Uh, it was a beauty salon, flower shop, and gift shop. I mean, we had all kinds of hustle going on back then. Although she always felt a call to serve her community, she told me politics wasn't her first choice. After graduating from Indiana University, she worked with nonprofits and the railroad industry, most recently as an executive with United Airlines. When this position opened up, the alderman in this ward, what made you decide Maybe I want to do that. I had a phone call from a member, a leader in the community saying, oh, you know, I wanted to have this really important conversation with you. And I was like, okay, what's going on? Usually when people call me out of the blue, it's about an airline issue, right? I'm not a person that seeks out the limelight at all, but I'm not also uncomfortable in it. And at the end of the day, I felt like, oh, I think I would be a stronger voice in this. I take very seriously the, the responsibility I have now representing the constituents of this ward and really now being the, the face for Asian American residents of the city of Chicago, especially here in uh, the Chinatown Bridgeport area, it's a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, it is a big deal. So be sure to watch our special celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Our Chicago Asian Voices will air Saturday, May 21st at 6 p.m. And then again on Sunday, May 22nd at 4.30 p.m. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.